Here I show you one of the most popular ways to install Jupyter Notebooks. So this is very often done using this Anaconda distribution. This is sort of a launch of a several different programs. We are only interested in Jupyter Notebooks. You will see this in just a minute. So you can go here to the download button and directly download it. You have a little fellow here who might help you if you want. Um, and then you can go also to the upper right and to the free download section by clicking on the free download. You'll get the same button as before, but now if you scroll further down, you have a couple of options for a certain installer here. So choose whatever you prefer if you want to use Anaconda. So this installation process might take a couple of minutes up to maybe half an hour. This really depends on the computer you are having. After you installed it, then launch Anaconda and you should get a launcher that looks like this here. And here you have a couple of programs and we are not interested in basically all of them except for Jupyter Notebook. So this is this one here. Not Jupyter Lab, but you could also use this, but now we are using Jupyter Notebook. So you click on the launch button down here and then it takes a couple of seconds and you should get some kind of explorer window here. And this is this runs in a browser. Um, because these Jupyter Notebooks always run in browsers. So in the background, the server is startup and so on. So here are a couple of Jupyter Notebooks already. This IPy um, Notebook is what a Jupyter Notebook um, ending is. I just want to start a new notebook. So I click on new on the upper right corner, go on Python 3, click it. And this is my Jupyter Notebook. This is how a Jupyter Notebook looks like. And here we have something that is called a cell. And now I can start writing a program within this cell. For example, I type in 2 plus 5 and then I go on run or I can hit on a Mac command and shift and on Windows it's something like otherwise just click on run and you have your output here. So this is already the first Python program basically you wrote here. Now you can see a second cell open, so I can do something else. So three minus five, for example, again, hit run and I get the result. So I have individual cells that are executed um, individually. Now, up here you have a couple of uh, commands. You can just play around with these a little bit. You can't really damage anything or so. A nice thing about these Jupyter Notebooks is that um, that you can also include text. So for example, I delete this one here again and I delete this and maybe also this and I'm back with just a first cell. Now I put in here something like header and then I don't, from this drop down menu, choose code but markdown. Now if you choose markdown and run it again, you have a text here which is quite nice because what I can do here now is, for example, if I go back here, um, I can, for example, write, uh, write my first um, Python program. And then I can use markdown commands. If you don't know them, that's not a problem. If you know them, this will look familiar. So you can make hashtags here. And then this is actually a second order heading. This is a first order heading, second, third, fourth, and so on. Let's take the first one here, make run, and you have a first order heading. My first Python program, uh, a simple calculation. And again, this should be markdown. I run it and I'll make a simple calculation. Three plus four. And now I make a space in between because it's just a little bit more readable. Hit run. And here I am having my result. Now, and this is Jupyter Notebooks. I have a little play with it. Just test out the various commands here and you're good to go.